Jennifer Bonjean did an excellent job today, you guys. Cross-examining Roshana. She did an excellent job based on everything I'm reading that is coming in from the um the reporters who are there uh reporting on the trial. Um Jennifer did an excellent job of getting the information that she needed from Roshana without attacking her in front of the jury. I think Jennifer is going to save the attacking for that stank mama, Valerie Lanfair, and that stank auntie, Sparkle. Because what Jennifer Bonjean did today was get Roshana to admit something so huge that it's going to shake up the trial. She got Roshana, Jennifer Bonjean got Roshana, a government witness, to admit that Sparkle, another government witness, leaked the sex tape that R. Kelly is charged with. Wow. That's fucking amazing, man. When I tell you that's fucking amazing, I know the Fed's sitting there right now. Ooh, do we need to call Sparkle? Do we need to call Sparkle? Or maybe we don't need to call Sparkle. We had to call Valerie Lanfair, and she gonna already have us looking fucked up. Sparkle might have us looking even more fucked up. You know, because the, 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 the jury gonna wonder why all these people got immunity. And that is exactly what Jennifer wants the jury to see. The corruption of the federal government. The federal government claims to care about child pornography, but the government witness Sparkle leaked the tape and she gets immunity. And you got the mama getting immunity. Valerie Lanfe is a fucking pimp. The feds are corrupt. You can't fucking trust them. You need to acquit R. Kelly. I see what she's doing. I see what Jennifer is doing. She's putting the federal government on trial in a roundabout way. Hallelujah. Sparkle, you're a disgusting individual. You're the worst of the worst. Um, you spent all this time running around town, running all over America, in front of every media outlet, crying, I, I should have never introduced my family to R. Kelly on my knees, ooh, in the sex tape, and I know she must feel embarrassed. Bitch, you were the one who leaked it. You leaked it, whore. You dirty, disgusting whore. If you felt like your niece was on the age on a tape, why in God's green earth would you sit up here and leak that tape for millions to see? And you want to go on surviving R. Kelly like you a fucking victim? And talk about your family uh, family um abandon you? No, you leak the fucking tape, bitch. I would never in a million years leak a sex tape on a family member, on a friend, or even an enemy. That's not even the type of time I'm on. It takes a sick individual to say, oh, my niece on the age on this tape. So I'm going to go and leak the tape to the public for millions of people to mop my knees and laugh at her and call her a fucking whore. You did that, Sparkle. And the government is so corrupt that they're not charging you with leaking a fucking tape. You're an animal. And you will get everything that's coming to you. Because if Roshana was on that tape. And if Roshana was on the age, you committed a crime. Again, this is why I keep asking, why are none of these people charged? And that's why I say it's no minors. And that's why I say maybe it wasn't Roshana on the tape. I don't believe it was Roshana on the tape. But Sparkle is saying that it's Roshana. Roshana is saying that it's her. And they're not charging. Sparkle. 
This is unbelievable, you guys. The federal government is so corrupt. They are so corrupt. And Jennifer Bonjean is really exposing all of this to the jury. Because if I'm on a jury, I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. If Sparkle bring her stankin' ass up on the stand, I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. This bitch just got exposed by the star witness. The star witness said that she leaked this fucking tape. And she is here and not in, in, in cuffs. I really can't trust the government. I can't trust anything they say. It seemed like Jennifer Bonjean is the only one that's trustworthy. I might need to listen to her and acquit R. Kelly. I think, I mean, if I was on a jury, that's what I would think. That's what I would fucking think. Sparkle leaked her own niece's sex tape. You dirty fucking whore. You dirty animal. Between Sparkle and Valerie Landfair and Alice Clary and all these individuals who try to appear to be so virtuous in the public and then we find out how dirty they really are. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. These are some despicable people, y'all. There are no innocent people who are accusing R. Kelly. Everybody is pointing their dirty hands and saying, ah, oh, R. Kelly, R. Kelly is the monster. No, you're the monsters. You're the monsters. You're demonic. On top of that, Jennifer exposed that uh, Roshana, father, uh, you know, well, we all know that uh, her father was working with R. Kelly after the trial. So that wasn't nothing to expose. Uh, but it was something to expose to the jury. But we already know that. And um, pointed out how uh, Roshana invited R. Kelly to her 34th birthday party. And she admitted that even though she was broken up with R. Kelly, she still had sex with him from time to time. So she, they were still continuing their friendship and their sexual relationship until 2019. What victim? How is Roshana a victim? How is Roshana a victim? Roshana is not a victim. And um, the feds forced her to testify. She wasn't going to testify until they brought the hammer down and said, look, either you testify or y'all, your parents going to jail, you going to jail, you going to help us get our Kelly or else. That's why she's there. That's why she's there. And I think the jury is going to see that. I am looking forward to that bitch, Valerie Landfair, bringing her stinking ass on the stand. Valerie Landfair is a pimp. Valerie Lanfer is a fucking pimp. Sparkle is a fucking pimp. And an evil woman. Running around town crying, acting like she was the only one in the family who protected Roshana. But Roshana's saying that you were the cause of all of this because you was the one that leaked the tape. I know the jurors are sitting there shaking their head. This is not a slam dunk. There are no innocent people that are getting up on the stand who, ha who are good citizens. There are no upstanding citizens accusing R. Kelly. Everybody has a shady, dirty past. And everybody got their hands dirty. New York was a hard case because that was a RICO case. This case, this case, I don't, I don't see him getting convicted on all counts. Unless they're just biased. If the jury is really paying attention, they cannot convict R. Kelly on all counts. If we have a fair jury and the jury isn't bought and paid for by the feds and the jury really sits and listens to the facts, they would acquit R. Kelly. 
So we're going to see what happens. But I got to say it again. The star government witness sat up on the stand and said another government witness leaked the fucking sex tape. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The feds might not call Sparkle on that stand. They're not going to call Sparkle because that's going to fuck their entire case up. I don't think they're calling Sparkle. They're not calling Sparkle after, after today. They're not calling Sparkle. This is insane. They never should have brought these charges against R. Kelly. Roshana's family is so fucked up. Her parents were fucked up individuals, greedy, unfit, evil people. Sparkle is an evil woman with no morals. She's a fucking whore. She had no talent. The only reason R. Kelly gave her a shot is because he was fucking on her and he and he had, you know, he liked her. That's why he put her on, be careful what you do to me. Cause it might turn around on you. Sparkle was never a good singer. She put some trash song out. I, I said, let me go see what this is. I said, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? The bitch never had any talent. You leaked your niece's sex tape? <laughs> oh, please, God, please, God, please let the feds bring Sparkle as a witness. God, please let the feds bring Sparkle as a witness. God, that would make me so happy, Lord, if Sparkle get on that stand and then she got to plead the fifth about leaking the tape. Oh, that's going to help R. Kelly. These people are despicable. Oh, my God. Who raised these people? And these people want to sit up here and act like R. Kelly is, is the worst person on the planet? No, you all are. I wish R. Kelly never met any of these motherfuckers. Everything is coming to the light. Sparkle gonna get on the stand. And Lisa Van Allen gonna get on the stand. And I know Dre, um, Jennifer is gonna say, oh, did you have sex with Drea? Mm-hmm. Thus bringing Drea into it. Because the feds are trying to get Drea to testify on their behalf against R. Kelly. She got it. What Jennifer got to do is dirty up any potential witness. That get ready to come up there. She dirty up Sparkle today. When Lisa Van Allen takes a stand. She's going to dirty up Drea. And she's just going to do her job. Planting seeds of doubt. So we can get to that reasonable doubt. And I know we have a, a forensic expert. That's going to come and say the tape is not real. Or the tape is not authentic. So that will be dealt with at a later time. But that's what's happening. Um. That's what's happening. Um, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly. I know he um, is in good spirits. They're saying he feels a lot better this time around than he did in the New York case. Um, Jennifer Bonjean hasn't slipped up like... Um, like... Um, Nicole slipped up when Nicole said last last year, yeah, you got to find him guilty. I mean, not guilty. You know, Nicole was not prepared for a case of that magnitude. Um, this is, this is insane. I feel so bad for R. Kelly. I feel so bad for R. Kelly. Roshana was texting him after surviving R. Kelly saying, I love you. Don't let the devil win. That was another big moment. If you were abused by R. Kelly, why you texted him saying, I love you. Don't let the devil win. You're not a victim, Roshana. You're not a fucking victim. You're not a fucking victim. And the feds don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about anybody. They just want to take down R. Kelly. 
And don't think that they won't flip on none of these people if they feel like they fucking that case up. God forbid for the feds. If for the feds, if they say, oh, God forbid, if R. Kelly wins this case, you think they're not going to flip on Sparkle and all these people and figure out a way to put them in jail? Oh, yeah. I say God forbid like I'm speaking like the feds. Now, that would be good for me if R. Kelly gets acquitted. But you know how them stinking feds are. Oh, R. Kelly got acquitted? Let's flip on Valerie Landfair. Let's, let's, let's get her in cuffs. Let's get Dre in cuffs. Let's get Sparkle in cuffs. You talk long, you talk wrong. And a lot of these people are going to talk themselves into a jail cell. Because they keep running up there like the feds are their fucking friends and they're not. Stay out of them people's faces. Why are you running up there to talk to them people? Sparkle is a dirty whore. I can't stress that enough. Man, Sparkle, you leaked your own niece's tape according to her? Wow. Fuck you, bitch. Free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, and fuck anybody who don't like him.